Hi, I'm interviewing a few women in engineering. Would you mind answering a few questions? Sure. Tell me about yourself. So my name is Emma Modsley. I am a project engineer here in the restrictor group at the Lee Company. Um, I've been here for about two years. I graduated from UConn with a degree in mechanical engineering and a concentration in aerospace. I'll be starting my master's part-time this fall at Columbia doing um, master's in mechanical engineering. Um, at the Lee Company, I kind of get to wear a lot of hats, which is really fun. Um, so I have various product lines, which are just our standard product lines that I kind of manage and keep an eye on. Also starting a development project right now, which we've been working on for pneumatic restrictors. Um, and so that's really fun, and that's kind of targeting more of our space industry applications. Um, so as well as the standard product lines, we also do special product lines and that's really fun because we get to work directly with sales and our customers um, and customize our systems based on exactly what they need and to make sure that it works in their system. Um, and we get to run through that all the way from the feasibility stage, potentially with prototypes and testing and then all the way through, you know, final manufacturing and production and then kind of gets sent out. And that could be really any aerospace system. I see a lot of like commercial aircraft, but also you know helicopters, jets, rockets, lunar landers. So it's really fun knowing our parts get to go and all these cool systems. <laughs> did you always know you wanted to do mechanical engineering? Um, no, not at all. Uh, I think I didn't even know what engineering was um, growing up, but I always loved math and science and I fell in love with space. Um, I fell in love with space probably after watching interstellar six or seven times um, and just probably wanting to be Matthew McConaughey but I think that being able to get parts and you know get my ideas in space is really just honestly amazing um, and insane to think about but along with that I also think you know the aerospace industry will kind of always be the hub of technological innovation I mean I can't really imagine a feat greater than literally you know, breaking orbit and surviving the extreme atmospheres of space. So knowing that, you know, the stuff that you're working on and the ideas and the innovation is always really going to be, you know, at the top of the line. You know, you're making a huge impact and this is, you know, driving innovation. I just think that's really cool. Would you say someone has inspired you? I would say my parents. Um, they're both immigrants. Well. My mom immigrated here from Ireland, um, from a farm, and my dad's family came here from Finland. Um, and they've always worked, you know, very, very hard. Um, probably slept very little, so that you know I can dream of rockets in outer space. Um, but I don't come from, you know, a family of scientists or engineers. You know, a lot of farmers and painters. And um, but nonetheless, that might have been not specifically why I pursued engineering. Um, but if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be able to be where I am today. And um, yeah, just really inspiring. What has been your favorite project that you've worked on here? <sighs> My favorite project... Okay, one sec. You've done a lot, so... I know, it's been a lot. Um, I would definitely say, and I probably can't really get into the details of it, um, but specifically working on programs and parts that I know are going to go to space and I know will bring, you know, the next female to the moon and I think to me specifically that's just very impactful. And if you could give your younger self one message what would it be? Okay, um, to be more stubborn and I'll explain. I think that girls, very very young girls, um, really have this innate sense of confidence and like can-do attitude. Um, Three-year-old girls could probably rule the world um, but I think a lot of times you know they kind of grow up and the world will teach them to be, to kind of reel that in, to be a little bit more agreeable and pleasable and really especially to never be an inconvenience. Um, and I think if I could tell my younger self one thing is to never sacrifice what's important to you to be more of a convenience for anyone else. Um, I think that a lot of times women have this resilience and it's seen as stubbornness but I don't really mind because I'd rather be stubborn and I want you know, my daughter one day to be stubborn and I want you know, all the little girls in the world that are pursuing you know, difficult careers or you know, to let the world tell them no, you know, let the world tell them that they can't do that or 
they're not good enough or they don't deserve that or that you know, people won't fund that for them. And you know, I want them to find their inner three-year-old self and you know, put their little sparkly foot on the ground and, and kind of fight for it and fight for you know, what's important for them. I love that. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.